I solemnly swear that my hair is up to no good. My hair is naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Literally. <laughs> I'm so weird. Hey everybody, it's Keiko here. I just wanted to make a video on curly hairstyles. I did a curly hair routine a little bit back ago and it seemed like you guys really liked it. So I thought that I would do another video more featured on curly hair. So I'm gonna be having a lot more curly hair videos coming up. So yes, if you guys wanna see them, then please subscribe. So this is what my hair looks like after I do my hair routine. So one of the first things that I like to do is I'll just take a little bit of my hair from right here and I pin it over like this. <laughs> I just take a couple bobby pins and I just pin it over. And yes, yeah, so then I have a little side part. All you're gonna do is you take a little bit of hair from this side and you just throw it over here. <laughs> And then you're going to take a bobby pin and you just pin it <laughs> right there. Then you take another bobby pin if you have a lot of hair sticking out everywhere like I do. And then you're going to take some hair from this side and you're going to do the same thing. I know that it looks crazy, but it's actually cute when it's done. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I think it's really cute. It's preppy and it gives your hair a little bit more volume. And what I like to do is just take a bow, and so I have this little polka dot bow, and you can just put it on your hair. So with the bow in your hair, it looks like this. This one's really simple. So all I like to do is use a scrunchie. So what I'm gonna do is just leave down a couple of my little bang like hair pieces, and I'm just gonna flip my hair upside down. So I'm just gathering it up and I'm going to put it in a messy ponytail. So you don't want to try to smooth it out or anything because it's really good to have the texture. So now it looks like this. It's a cute little preppy ponytail. I like to use a bow because I'm obsessed with bows and you can just take it and you can put it to the kind of to the side like this. Now a little tip if you have crazy bangs that won't stick down is to just use a bobby pin and if you kind of want them out of your face a bit then you can just pin it back like this. If you want to take it a step further then this is what I like to do. It's just a messy curly top knot. I like to take this and just wrap it around like this and then you have these ends and I don't like to stick them under because I like to kind of you want to show off your curly texture so I kind of pull out a couple and I leave out the ends and just kind of make it look messy and then you want to take some bobby pins and you're just gonna stick them straight into the bun you can use however many bobby pins you need for this and then it looks like this so you have a cute little curly top knot so this next hairstyle I think is really cute. It can either be described as like teddy bear ears or mouse ears. And you're just going to separate your hair into two parts. And then you want to leave down a little bit of your hair if you like to have hair framing your face, like I do. <laughs> so you're going to just take up the rest of your hair, leaving down your bangs, and you're going to put it into a ponytail, like a pigtail. Like if you were a little kid going to school. <laughs> And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take these ponytails and you're going to kind of wrap the bottom part around, but only the bottom. And you're going to go about halfway down like this. And then you're going to wrap this part around. And then I like to just take these and kind of put them around messily. <laughs> and then you're going to take bobby pins. And you're just gonna pin them down. Oh, I like it to be a little bit messy, but not too messy, so like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
Then whenever I do buns, I just kind of like to shake them a little and make them a little bit messy. <laughs> you guys should really try it. It's so simple. It takes two seconds and it's really cute. So the next hairstyle that I'm going to show you guys I think is really cute. It's a little bit dressy and it looks like you put a lot of time into it even though you really didn't. It takes two seconds and you can either take your bangs and braid them back or you can take the part under your bangs if you like to have your bangs frame your face. But for this one what I'm going to do is braid my bangs. So I'm going to take some of my bangs and some of the longer parts of my hair like this. Just kind of a big front portion and you're going to braid it. You kind of want to face it backwards because with curly hair, sometimes if you don't braid it back, it's not going to go back later. <laughs> so you want to just make sure that you kind of braid it, pulling it backwards a little bit. And then you can just let it fall. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, so once you have your two braids, all you're going to do is twist them a little bit. And then I'm going to bobby pin it in the back. And then you're going to do the same thing to the side. And then you're going to meet it up to where you just pinned the other one. And then the last step to this hairstyle is just to take a cute hair bow. So I have this blue one right here. And you can just put it in the back of the hair where your two little braids met. So this is what it looks like from the front. And then I'll show you what it looks like from the back. <laughs> Okay, so I have one more hairstyle to show to you guys. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a section of your hair like this and you're going to part it. You can make as deep of a side part as you want. And then you're going to French braid it. You just take that portion that you just grabbed and I really messily French braid this. And then I just go, once I get to the bottom, into a regular braid. And it looks like this. So what you can do with this after you have it is you can either pin it backwards and just leave your hair down. You can leave it like this and you have this little braided headband. But if your hair is really ridiculously crazy and you can't really leave it down because it looks like a wreck, then all I like to do is either braid it and it'll look like this. So what I'll usually do instead of a braid is just tie it back into a bun. So I like to kind of wrap it around. You can just take a clip and just pin the rest of your hair up. So even though you literally just put your hair and you pinned it up with a clip, it still looks a little bit nicer because you have this little braid right here. And then you can take a bow if you want. So I'll usually pin it in the back um, like this and there. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was the end of my video. I hope that you guys liked it. My hair officially looks super crazy. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. I never know what to do with my hair. Sometimes um, hairstyles don't really work on my hair texture unless I straighten it or something and I like to wear my hair natural a lot. So hopefully these ideas really help some of you guys. Please leave a comment below and let me know which one of these was your favorite. Let me know maybe if you're going to plan on trying it out. And other than that, bye!